All right, pour that bitch. Hey, this is the Old Bulls Music Channel with Yi Kang and Blake here. What's up? Where we react to some of our favorite records from some of our favorite artists, new and old. Um, and where we not only just listen to the creative side and kind of the content of the music, but also the technical mixing aspects and such. And as always, for the best experience, please listen on headphones. And today, we will be taking a look at Silk Sonic's new record. Came out today, November 12th. Came out today, baby. Brand new. We haven't listened to this yet. An evening with Silk Sonic. I'm excited because I love Bruno Mars and I also love Anderson Pac. I love them both as well. And when I yeah. when I first found out that they're making a group and they when they uh, came out with the Leave video, the Do- yeah, Leave yeah. The- I was like, what the fuck? It was like the best. It was like the best thing ever. <laughs> it was oh, the best so thing good. ever. Smooth as butter, dude. Oh like, man, it was awesome. And then they, I think they released another single like a few months ago yep. called Skate. I like that one yep. too. Yep, they're both really good. So I'm pretty excited to hear what is in store for us for the rest of the record. I'm excited. It's a short little record. I think it's it seems to me very much like a like a concept record like right. they're bringing us back to like 1976. And I love it. It's ready to go. <laughs> it's going to be so silky smooth. Oh, uh, and they're going to be they're going to be jazzing us. I'm excited. All right. So without further ado, let's do it. First song, Silk Sonic intro. I don't think I'm ready. I'm ready, dude. Okay. Let's go. You we're gonna have to take that sweatshirt off at some point. Probably it's gonna get hot. We're, in we're here. gonna take everything off. Who y'all came to see tonight? Who gonna get the ladies feeling something? Oh, we gonna like this groove in tight. Yeah, we're locking in there. Don't have us like this groove down for nothing. Get down. Woo. Oh. Woo. Super dry, like jazz sounding kid. Right. Oh, yeah. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Blaster, of <laughs> Blaster of the universe. Blaster of the universe. Fellas, I hope you got something in your cup to make your way to the stage. Make your way oh, to the stage. Man, that I mean. <laughs> Silk Sonic. Wow. Those little chimes in the back, yeah, those are cool. What you do? What you do? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, those like Yeah, with like real long reverb on those snaps. My house clean, my pool warm. Man the little keys. Really dry keyboard. Yeah, the keys are like super present, right? Woo, Bruno. Bruno. Bass, dude. This is so fat. My vocals are so wet with reverb. The whole thing is like airy. Yeah. I feel like I'm in heaven. Yeah. <laughs> this is too. what heaven feels like. <laughs> oh man, bass slides. Give me more bass slides. I love that like post chorus bridge thing that like flowed right back into the yeah. verse. That's cool. <laughs> I love the call and response thing going on. Yeah, with the it's, it's it's awesome. The backing vocals are just so they just sit on top. Right. Just so airy. Bruno's so good. He's amazing. It's like slight panning on the drums. Yeah. When he goes through his fills. Yeah. Yeah. Not a lot, though. It keeps it pretty center. I like how a lot of the backing vocals are actually like pan hard. Right. That bass line is killer. 
I love the super like tight, dry drum sound. Oh, it's so perfect. Like the t-shirt drum kind right. of. So we're like, yep. We put we're t-shirts, t-shirts over, over the, right, the yeah. drums. <laughs> the bass line there's like beep, 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 beep. right <laughs> God, God, that bass oh line. man oh, oh shit <laughs> that is a dirty bass <laughs> wow Everything's going off the bass. Got the little chime. The vocals got all different parts going on too. Woo. And of course we get the slow uh fade out. slow fade out. Yeah, of course. Woo! Woo! Wow. Let's unpack that for a second. That's that was I've unpacked it so many times. I've listened to that song so many times before, but it's, know, just like, it's so awesome every single fucking time. Just, <laughs> when it comes in with the chorus, it's like his voice is so like, he's like giving her the beans. It's like raspy, and like, <laughs> but also like smooth at the same well, time. Well, it's such a cool dynamic because again, like you said, Anderson comes in with that part and then and then Bruno just fucking hits you. Yeah, right. And, and, and the like, chorus. Because I think Bruno's more of that power singer. Yep. And yep. he comes in with just that pow- those powerful high notes. Right. Um. Yeah, I, there's shit. not much to say about that song. I, I, I feel like that's this if if it's any song from this record that everybody knows, it's it's, yeah, it's that absolutely. Song. And I'm pretty sure it's like TikTok famous. So probably. I mean, I'm not a TikTok. <laughs> you and you, you young people on TikTok, yeah, we're pretty. I gotta stay. I gotta stay youthful somehow. <laughs> All right. So track three is "Fly, Fly as, as me. me." I don't know this one. This wasn't a single, right? No. Cool. It, I think it was just "Leave the Door Open" and "Skate" were the only ones. Okay, cool. I believe that I listened to. Sweet. One, two, make you wanna. Uh. Woo. Woo. I love that, like the guitar and the bass walking together. Yeah, yep, oh, yep. I love that. Oh, we got some horns going. Okay, now have you ever been with a player? Take you downtown when they treat me like the main. Take you to the crib when you take it upstairs. What's upstairs? Yeah, this is some pock shit for sure right here. Hundred <laughs> percent. Extra flavor. Go ahead. Sprinkle some truffle on your mashed potatoes. I'm trying to love. Is you gonna love me back? We only get what you get. Thank you. Super pen, backing yep. vocals. You know what I want. I and he's like, those like claps have yeah. been going pretty much the whole time. Yeah, this is some funk shit right here. Holy cow. It's like the 70s so version good. of uh, gang vocals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now Silk Sonic smooth like a mellow. It's showtime, trying to boo you up like it's the Apollo. You off is vicious. Let's get down to business. You and me together. Woo, that's something different. Look here. It was bongos, too. Yeah, oh yeah, I think there's some bongos. <laughs> like on the chorus, it sounds like all the vocals are panned. Yeah. There's not really anything in the middle. Right. I love, too, how, like, it warms up. Just vocals and drums, and then like everything comes in yeah, with like yeah, the horns and everything. It's cool. Let's get it. Well, that's some Jane Brown shit right there, dude. Is that a bass drum? Oh, yeah. It's like an 808. Yeah. <laughs> 808. Used to use those back in the hardcore days. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll talk about it some other time. Okay. <laughs> Because Bruno just riffing you. Do that organ? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coming in hot. I love organ slides, dude. Oh. Organ slides and bass slides. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Woo! I love that count off. They're like, one, two. What was it? Let's just check it out All one right. more time. Two, make you wanna. Oh yeah. <laughs> make, one, you wanna two, uh. make you wanna. Make you wanna. 
Uh, I'm gonna, I'm I'm doing that for now. On. Dude, that's I'm gonna count in every <laughs> single song for now. On. <laughs> Next one after last night with Thundercat, bro. bro. Boosty Collins too. Boosty Collins. All right. I'm excited for I'm this excited one. For this I, one. I, I saw Thundercat. I'm like, fuck yeah, let's go. It's gonna slap. <laughs> it's gonna slap. The last one could have been. I, I can already too. expect some wacky fucking Thundercat bass line. Right. <laughs> he might sing on it too. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's find out. Woo. Oh, yeah, there, oh, yeah, it, there, is. It, there is. it is. There it is, dude. There we go. That's Thundercat. That's hundred percent. We knew it like in a second. <laughs> It's like 47 string bass. <laughs> there, there's, there's his vocals. <laughs> yeah, it's classic. Thundercat for sure. <laughs> yep, there he is. Dude, this, the song is pure sex. Yeah, it is. Wow. <laughs> sex personified. <laughs> yeah. Silk <laughs> Sonic. Dude, this reminds oh, you of like old like Isley Brothers shit. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> There's a lot of weird effects going on with the bass and the guitars. Yeah, I mean that's that's Thundercat shit. Yep. The drum set kind of feel the same as they have right. done this whole I, I, record. I feel like if you're gonna go for that '70s feel, it's gonna have that dry, yeah, super dry T-shirt. Kit. Yep. T-shirt drums. Like a warm kind of sound. Yeah. Sick of silk in there. They're really not afraid to really pan those back and go. No. I like too at the end of some of those verses, they'll pan the drums really hard too. Yeah. Like the hi hats are like the the notes that they're really trying to stick, they'll like pan them up. Right, yeah. <laughs> those horns sound so good in there. I think someone's going. <laughs> I feel like someone's been doing that this entire record. <laughs> That bass in the background. Oh yeah, yeah. super thundercat <laughs> shit. It's like a subtle string layer too mm -hmm. in the back. Woo. Key change. Yeah. It's a lot of vocal tracks here. Yeah. It's like a chorus almost. Woo! Woo! Oh, wow, that's Steve Vai? <laughs> what? <laughs> that would be fucking sick if Steve Vai was on this record, dude. <laughs> we got. <laughs> I like how you like thought about it really hard. You were like, actually, that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> Ooh, without some, some, some distorted bass. Yeah. Ah, yeah, Bob. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like how like randomly through this record, Anderson Pac just comes in and goes, "Oh, oh yeah." yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like not even really like tonally like with the music at all. He just like comes in. <laughs> <laughs> and they have it like so close where it like seems like he's like right in your yeah. ear. Oh yeah. Like right in your face. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, so funny. That was good. So far, I, I feel like this this record is like 24K magic, but like ten times better. Oh yeah, hundred. With with Anderson Pac. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no offense to 24K, because that was a bomb ass record. <laughs> this one's like way more funky. Way yeah, more yeah. Funky. It's it's a bit we'll talk about it. Yeah. At the end, but right. yeah, we'll, we'll it go. It seems, uh, it's like over the top. Right, yeah. Like, <laughs> this is what we're doing. <clears throat> Smoking out the window. Smoking out the window. And this is the uh, make-believe end of side A. Right, because we got to, you know, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. You know, we don't got to tell you. Wait a minute, this love Ooh. started off so tender, so sweet. But now she got me. Smoking out the window. Mm. 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 Woo! 
smoking out that window. I love that so much. <laughs> dude, that bass line, dude. I hear like some sort of woodwind in there. Let's so listen again in the verse. Okay. Sounded like a like an oboe, like some like tenor right, type I'll woodwind. For it. Tambo. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, those those fills are so 70s. <laughs> Every time they do. Just the other night she was gripping on me tight, screaming Hercules. We'll slap that. This baseline is sick, too. I know, it's so thick. Yeah. Baby, why you doing this? Oh, oh yeah, I love that guitar little thing. Little bend. Right there. Yeah. Those bells again, they're always there. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> Bruno, baby. <laughs> He's just riffing, dude. Just <laughs> bebopping back there. <laughs> And the bass line in this whole song is slapping. Just slaps. Holy cats. I was smoking out the window, and that Smoke. was the end. That sound of... sounded mad. They sound like they were mad at some sort of lady that yeah, did them bitch. wrong. Got them smoking out the window now. Fucking bitch. <laughs> this is not for kids. <laughs> this is not for kids. All right, what do you think of the record so far? That, I mean... <clears throat> It's about exactly what I thought it was going to be, Same. but I'm not like mad about that. I'm not mad about it either. It's just like it's, it's really it's, it's just really good fun. shit. It's, it's fun, <laughs> and it's kind of it's kind of cool that it's like a short. It's like short because it's like we're gonna give you this little snippet. It's gonna be sweet, right? You know exactly what's going on, but it's just gonna be some badass musicians doing some badass stuff, right? Short and sweet, and it's like it. It's it has that seventies feel, but it's still. You know, has kind of a modern feel to it as well. Right. It's well, there's a lot of like, like rapping hip hop type elements to this too. Right. Which is kind of cool. And they like and kind of obviously fuse it you nice. know that it's Bruno and, and right. Anderson. Right. So like them being there kind of just modernizes it itself. Right. right. Um, and then like again like bringing it bringing back Thundercat too. Like Thundercat, he's another kind of person who who has like class classic elements to him, but mm -hmm. he like yeah. has like a modern feel to it. Right. Um. So like I'm really loving the record so far, just like you. It's like just what I expected. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought <laughs> it was. But maybe be. even a little bit better too. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I will say that the songs, um, one after another, have seemed they're they're a little more different than I thought they were going to be. I thought most of them were going to be like, like leave the door open. Yeah, like leave the door open, <laughs> which they like kind of are. But this yeah. last one was way different, and the right. flies me one too. That one was also pretty different to different in the same right world but yeah I think and like you know after last night that has you know thundercat in it so that's just gonna be fucking bonkers it's gonna be bonkers man <laughs> all right that is the end of our made up a side side a baby let's bring out the brews I look too good, look too good to be alone. Okay, Blake, what delicious beer are we drinking today? So, since last episode I teased you and I said we were going to have a peanut butter beer, but then I you called an audible you, you and you I did something lied. else. Yeah, I lied to you. So this time we do have the peanut butter beer. So it's uh, barrel-aged peanut butter cup stout. 
Mm. Barrel aged imperial stout brewed with cocoa nibs, peanut butter, powder, and milk sugar. Mm. So this is a collab beer um, with Untitled Art, which is from um, Wanakee, okay, Wisconsin, um, and Hidden Springs Ale Works, which I admittedly have never heard of until I saw the, I found this beer. They've got a pretty like minimal labor or label. Yeah, well their label is well th- the labels from. So Untitled Art does a lot of contract brews and like collabs, so their labels always look like this, where it's just like a little small oh, square. Okay. Yeah. But this is the Hidden Springs um, label. But I've never heard of them before, right. but they're from... Um, Why don't you show them? They're from uh, Florida, actually. So Florida. This is, yeah, so this is a... Lot All right, of, Florida. Yeah, Hidden Springs. Let's check it out. I don't know if we get their... I don't think we get their beer, like, distro here. Oh, this how'd, brewery. How'd you get it? Well, they brewed with the beer that we do get here. Oh, They okay. did, like, a collab <clears throat> or whatever. So. All right. <clears throat> All right, pour that bitch. Wow, that's aggressive. <clears throat> I mean, it sounds delicious. I mean, anything with peanut butter, I'm gonna love it. It's not gonna be bad. I can tell you that much. Oh my god! It smells so good. I'm not sure anything without me. Cool. That seemed like it was gonna be a lot, but it was actually just like good enough for the two of us. <laughs> You're so observant. <laughs> All right, cool. What are we cheersing to? Anderson and Bruno, probably. Cheers huh? to Anderson and Bruno and Silk Sonic. Good job, boys. Yeah, it's pretty bomb. Hot damn. It does taste like peanut butter. It's literally like a Reese's peanut butter cup in with liquid like, form. With like bourbon. <laughs> with bourbon. <laughs> yeah. In a liquid form and with uh, alcohol. Mm-hmm. It's not like overbearing though. Sometimes the peanut butter stouts get a little, it's like almost too much, and then you don't want to drink more than a sip. Uh, this That's is damn good. good. Shit. Damn good shit. Good shit. Damn Untitled good art. Good shit. Untitled art and Hidden, Hidden Springs. Springs Ale Works. Next time I go to Florida, I'll have to hit it up. Yeah, there you go, Florida. Some good shit. All I'm right. Not a huge Florida fan, so I probably won't go. <laughs> <laughs> but if we ever get their beer here, I will buy it. So, there we go. All right. Cool. Start of the made-up B side. Put on a smile. Put on a smile. This one has the least amount of streams. I mean, it came out today, dude. It only has twenty-nine thousand. Must not be good. Oh, we're just like not gonna do it anymore then. <laughs> oh, look at you, fellas. Take it from your uncle Boots. Ain't no shame, Uncle Bootsy's ain't no here. <laughs> Another string it. opening, just like the other song. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit, a little bit somber now. I feel like this is like the first like minor key song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On this record. I mean, every record's got to have kind of like the more right. serious song. When they make a record, they should end side A at five, and then they should start side B with six. This is a good start to a side B. Ooh, there's some uh, slide guitar in the left there. Ooh, there's some hair on that bass. Yeah. <laughs> Back to major now. <laughs> I just love that this Tom bomb. <laughs> so big. Ooh, a little thunder. <laughs> Hear the thunder? Yeah, I heard that. Some rain. Yeah. Rain yeah. Some Anderson. There's some clavinet in the back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Anderson's kind of got that raspier right. voice to his. Right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bruno's such a good singer. He like loops up and then hits those like super high notes. Yeah, it's insane, oh, so dude. good. Woo. <laughs> Dude, 
love that, don't you? I do. It's just so simple but effective. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Keep it going up. <laughs> I wonder how many key changes are in this record. A lot. Like seven. The piano's really up front in the mix, too. Yep. Woo! 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 He's still going. Wow. It makes my eyes water. <laughs> you crying? <laughs> I might be crying. <laughs> Back to minor. Yeah. That's sweet. What a drop. Oh, we gotta end with the, the thunder. I'm gonna let it roll. Alright. Seven seven seven. Oh shit. Steve Eyes back. <laughs> <laughs> Any guitar player yeah. on this record, Steve Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Are super pan to the right now. Right. Another like the bass and the guitar are yeah, I, I like mashed up. Booty oh, I like those back like those yeah. call and response things. I love the drum. Yeah. The drum is the drums are so good. Let's go. It's like filling up the space. All those ghost notes and stuff yeah. are so cool. Bongos are back. Bongos are back, baby. I love that. Like super long <laughs> <Yeah>. reverb. <laughs> it's like a spring reverb, I think. Right. Yeah. Woo. Some crispy uh, vocals or those harmonies there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, if I ever heard this song live, I would lose my fucking mind. Dude. <laughs> if they're ever in town, dude, we're fucking going to the show. Yeah, absolutely. I hope they tour. That'd be sweet. <laughs> I'd pay $100 to see this show. I'd, I'd pay a couple, dude, to be honest. Pac and, it, Pac and Bruno, if you're listening, he meant 100. <laughs> <laughs> Just screaming in the back. <laughs> ah, the bass is just ripping off. Whew. That was a straight up bop. A lot of cool, catchy guitar riffs in that. Yeah, very. Uh, the the musicianship was amazing. Really like, on, on part of the the drummer. This might be one of the better like drum tracks. Yeah, hundred percent. It was it was really really good, really on point. Who's the who's the guitar player that was on? Um... Steve Vai. No. <laughs> <laughs> Surfing with the alien. No. <laughs> that's the Steve Vai record. I oh, think. okay. Surfing with the aliens. Um, the guy that was on um, the Daft Punk record that we did. Oh, now Rogers? Yeah, yeah. That's some that's some now Rogers shit right yeah, there. Yeah. That's what I remind that'd me. That'd be that'd be amazing if he was on this record. What if what if it was now Rogers and Steve Vai? Oh. <laughs> this would be the record of records, dude. Steve Vai, Bruno Mars, Anderson Pac, and Thunder Phoebe Cat. Bridgers. Bru oh my god. <laughs> Phoebe Bridgers comes in. Just randomly. <laughs> Lizzo with the flute solo. Dude, we should just we should make a record. With all our favorite artists and then make them make some music together. <laughs> Phoebe would just come in with the woo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, anyway, yeah. this all is right, skate. Anyway. I've, I've heard this one before. It's cool. Got off the rails a little bit there. <clears throat> yeah, I've heard this one too. Those strings. Mm. 
Dude, the snaps are underestimated. We need more snaps. They are. We need more snaps. Yeah. That guitar tone is sweet. Bongos are back. The bongos are back, baby. <laughs> bongos too. We bongos. need more bongos. We need more bongos, man. <laughs> guitar tone's got like a real like punchy mid, yeah. mid bass kind of. It strat tone all the way, it. dude. Oh, strat 100%. all the way in this record. <laughs> right. Gibsons, get the fuck out. <laughs> Do any of them play a guitar? I have a feeling Bruno does. Okay. Are Ibanez is uh, allowed in this record? Absolutely not. Steve Vai. <laughs> no, he, they made it. They, <laughs> they made they, him. <laughs> they tied him down and made him play a Fender. <laughs> See the one with the clear guitar? Or is that Paul Gilbert? Steve Vai guitars or the Ibanez is like the handle. Oh, the handle, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's his thing. Paul Gilbert's the one that was like clear with like lights and shit in it. Oh, okay. God, I hate that. <laughs> the handle, like, that's so stupid. <laughs> Lots of strings, too, in the background. I have a there. feeling roller skating has, has uh, come back. Like, I, I see like a lot more people like going roller skating and going like a roller rink. Is that really? Just like a random comment? No, like the, I think this is what the song is about. Oh, okay. Skate. <laughs> I, you just don't listen to the lyrics, so I was like very confused. <laughs> well, the name of the song is Skate. Uh, and they say Skate like 50 times. All right, all right. <laughs> and with the 70s aesthetic, I'm assuming it's right. about roller skating. Okay, all right, all right. I use my context clues. All right. <laughs> Proud of you. Like that guitar riff going down, it's like. Bitter doo, bitter yeah. Doo, bitter doo. This is like a good feel song. Just, yeah, it's, yeah. The bass kind of carries it, but yeah. A lot of punchy strings. All right, pause it. <clears throat> I feel it just like an epic ending because the name of the next song, the last song, is, is blast, blast off. Blast off. off. <laughs> if I'm not blasting off by the end of this, I don't. What what album? Did, oh, it was the Daft Punk. Daft Punk. The last <laughs> yeah. song. What's that called? Was it called? Uh, uh, oh, I should contact contact because that we were blasting. We were off. blasted off. <laughs> I've never. I don't. I've never been to space, but I felt it. <laughs> And that's this is a continuation of that. This is, this better be. All right, final song of the record, everybody. All right, we're blast to, off. I think it's the longest song on the record as well. So, okay, <laughs> cool. Dude. <You> like okay. <laughs> Ooh, woo! That. <laughs> Those are cool. We're, we're preparing. We're preparing the rocket. Yep. We're feeling it up right now. Ooh. The bass and the kick are just so tight together. Right. Really good rhythm section. Yeah. They're Steve. Da, 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 da. Is that Barry Sax? <laughs> I think that was just really crunchy guitar. Are you sure? I think so. Really the, airy. The, the strings are kind of underestimated on, like, giving it that 70s feel. Oh, 100%. You know? If you took them out, you'd really notice it. Yeah, yeah. Like, they, that era was, like, the first time people were using, like, an orchestra in, right. like, popular music. Pop music, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that bass, dude. God damn. Right there. That's oh, yeah, like a really it is guitar. Fuzzy it is guitar. guitar. You're right. Should have used a sax. That would have been cooler. That would have been sick. <laughs> Pac, if you're listening. <laughs> Fucked up. What's that really famous sax player? You have the long hair. Oh, yeah. Um, He's got to be on the next Silk Sonic record. <laughs> is he dead? Oh, he's not dead. Oh. <laughs> I'm not thinking the same oh, guy. Okay. 
There's Steve here. There's Steve. Steven. <laughs> Just ripping it. <laughs> it's still going. We're starting to blast off now, I think. We're getting there, yeah. We're blasting off. I can feel it. Here we go. Bruno's about to impress us, I think. He's about to go off, dude. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we blasted off the guitar solo. <laughs> okay, so now we're in space. We were in the stratosphere. Now we're in space. Okay, got it. Now we're just floating in space. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Lots of strings. Can we take it higher? Echo. Ooh. There's fucking floating in space. Yeah, right we're. Now. I think we're high Can in we space. <laughs> How many key changes have there been in this song? Like 18. All right. Away from the stratosphere, sending love from up above. Thanks, Pac. Happy trails, Bob. <laughs> that was really funny. I love that, dude. That was perfect. Whoa. Oh, sorry, you idiot. Sorry, I do it every time. <laughs> there oh. it is. How sweet. Silk Sonic, everybody. That was sweet. It felt longer than it. It felt like a more complete record than what I had originally thought I was going to think. Yeah, it wasn't... It was... I thought it was going to be like, like really, really 30 short. 30 minutes? Yeah, like 30 minutes. Yeah. But it felt it felt good. It felt like a whole a whole record. It, it felt good. like a complete project. Yeah, it was sweet. I can't imagine how fun... How how fun this must have been for everybody involved uh, making this so record. So fun. Especially like those like huge moments like in the studio with like the monitors and stuff just fucking blasting right. that shit. <laughs> The, this they must have been, been a going, blast to work on as an engineer. Right. They had just God. been going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, for me personally, I think it's fun working on kind of like a project kind of right. record where we're aiming for this kind of sound. Yeah. We're aiming for this kind of yeah. 70s sound. And everyone has the same direction. Right, right. Yeah. exactly. It's it's like the, the direction is clear, yep. but at the same time, you make it fresh. Um, yeah, this thing is fresh as fuck. Yeah, and 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 they had every element of like the seventies in there. Right. Plus more. Plus more. Plus ripping guitar solos and It's and like with if you're trying to emulate that era, like you can't do it without the bass. Right. You and can't a good do rhythm it, section. Yeah, yeah, you can't do it without that drum sound. Yep. Like that specific drum sound too. Like you couldn't yep. have that drum sound any other way. Right. Or else it would sound not in that era. And that was like one of the most consistent <clears throat> things on the record was the drum beat yeah the drum sound the rhythm section the, the rhythm, rhythm the rhythm, rhythm section, section carried the whole album and right. it was yeah that was my favorite part I think, and like they're all we were talking good. about earlier too like the the strings too like that mm -hmm. that gives it that feel as well um and then obviously bruno and anderson add in their their kind of more modern vocals i guess right and it kind of like bring, r&b type yeah it brings it all together and um i hope i see more from them because this is an awesome project and um, I hope they come around here so we can go see them. Right. Dude, they should make like a, like a Silk Sonic like movie. <laughs> I would watch Bro, that. that'd be so <laughs> sick. Like, 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 like produce, like, produce like the score for it and right. then like have a, like a 40 minute movie. Just have oh. like, like cheesy 70s shit, right. you know? Oh man. <laughs> I would watch that. I'd watch the shit out of that. Or like a Netflix like mini series. I would watch that. <sighs> or even just do like a behind the scenes, yeah, like I how would, they made this record. Exactly. I would love that. I would that. be super interested in, in seeing... The what the whole process was. We got to look up um, some of these musicians that were were in here too, because yeah. there's a. I'm, I mean, we, I'm we sure, got it. Yeah, I'm sure they did a lot. We got to confirm it. if Steve Vai was the guitar player. St I'm gonna say Steve Vai was in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna bet any money on that, but I I got a gut feeling that he might have been involved. I don't think there's just not that much info on it out on it right now. Right. So we'll have to come back and and see who the musicians are. Otherwise, I'm, I'm sure the internet people will tell us. Yeah. I, I wouldn't doubt if, like, either one of them played a lot of the instruments. Yeah, too. I would think they would. They're both super talented. Yeah, they're both multi-instrumentalists, too. Especially, like, I know Bruno's pretty good pianist, and 
they both right. play drums. Yeah. So, yeah. What was your favorite song on the record? Can you even choose? <clears throat> Let me look at the track list. Again. I mean, like, Leave the Door Open is obviously like a given. I think Fly As Me was my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of different. Right. I think I got to go with. Thundercat Thunder, one, yeah, dude. that was my second favorite. Yeah, that, that was, was a good one, dude. <laughs> that was a good song. That one was kind of different too. From the plus, rest of like them. I, I like I fangirl over Thundercat too, so that that's mm-hmm. part of why. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, we gotta do a Thundercat album. Oh yeah, we gotta do it. I think we, that's we, on the one of. There's a couple Thundercat albums I think that are yeah, on our list. We gotta we gotta do that soon. Um, any other final thoughts on this record, dude? Man, it was good. I forgot that it was coming out today. I feel like they put out the singles like a long time i feel like i was listening to this like six months ago maybe that's true maybe that's not true but all of a sudden i like looked at my spotify thing and i was like oh shit it's out today yeah we gotta record this episode right now i was kind of the same too where i was i wasn't really following it i i saw when the singles came out right and i i I just i wasn't following like what they're doing with it i just thought they were just kind of releasing songs Mm -hmm. i didn't know they're gonna do a record so um, yeah, I remember sweet. seeing it that it was out, and then you reminded me like earlier today, like, "Hey, this came out today." I'm like, right. "Okay, we gotta do it." So I'll, yeah. defi- I'll definitely when they make a when they make the record, I'll I'll for sure buy it. I like things like this where it's like a little snapshot in time, like 50 years from now. I think this will still be like a great thing to like look back on that people will maybe not forget about, but like it's like, oh shit, I forgot like they did this badass like 70s right, yeah, record. I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. <laughs> so like I, <laughs> that's part of the reason why I collect records too. So I, I'm excited to, to Yeah, get just this like and, a good like collector's right, item 100%. pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just kind of mean. a one off thing. So yeah, I yeah. thought it was great. I like I Yeah, it. a great record. I, I think it in, encapsulates the, the 70s sound um, while keeping it fresh too perfectly. And I hope to see more from them. Let's do it. Um, so thanks for joining us for this episode. Um, feel, <clears throat> let me do that. <clears throat> thanks for joining us on this episode. It was really fun. It, it was, was fun. great. Hope you had fun too. Um, remember to like, subscribe and comment and see what you thought about the record as well. We'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments and any like background info. We're always learning from so many comments on our videos. We're we're yeah. We're, we're learning so many things about things that like we missed right. about the record and the, about the others. So. Or or like I'll say something just like out of my ass and somebody be like, actually, it's this. Actually, <laughs> actually <laughs> we that's appreciate good, that. Yeah, no, that's no, good. We appreciate I love that. that. So I'd rather know. <laughs> we, we love the little factoids you guys give us. So yeah. keep them uh, rolling. Yeah, keep 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 commenting. Keep giving us. Keep telling us that we're fucking stupid and and correcting us so and i also feel like like we like these bands and these artists but there's people out there who are like like there's i'm sure there's people that'll watch this that'll be like bruno mars is my favorite artist yeah. of all time or like Pac <laughs> is my favorite artist of all time so right. they are gonna know way more about yeah. this record and like the background and all that stuff than we will so I, exactly. I like hearing from those types of people yeah so yeah throw those comments down on there we got an instagram too at old bulls music follow us in there for any news we got coming up again thanks for joining us and we will see you guys next time peace